Uh, so, I'm Robert Stead, uh, founder of Autosense, and we're here at Autosense Brussels 2021, meeting some of our sponsors and exhibitors. Uh, so, I'm very happy to be here with Sunil Thomas of Zendar. Sunil, welcome. Yep, very happy to be here as well. Excellent. Yeah. So, tell us a bit about Zendar. What's the background and, and what do you do? Well, you know, Zendar is trying to build um, very high resolution automotive radar. So, the traditional radars that is being used in the automotive today don't really give you the highest resolution you need to address the auto, you know, autonomous driving or even building a better ADA system today. So Centaur is applying certain techniques in that space to build the next generation of radar technology. Excellent, it sounds very exciting. It How is. does this differentiate from the other sensors that are currently used? Well, you know, if you look at the, the sensor system that are used today, there are cameras, there are LiDAR, there are ultrasonic sensors. Each of them come with their strengths and weaknesses as well. Mm -hmm. um, cameras don't really give you an accurate perception mm -hmm. data, and it doesn't give you a velocity data. Mm -hmm. LiDARs, on the other hand, it gives you very good 3D imaging, but it doesn't really give you good um, um, velocity or Doppler data. Mm -hmm. And it also is susceptible to, the flip side is, you know, LiDAR is a very good 3D uh, modality, However, on the flip side, there are it is very susceptible to weather, dust, those type of um, you know right. environment, right. as well as the technologies that go into lidar is not mature yet mm -hmm. to be able to mass produce it in economic in that which makes economic sense. Right, right. So radar, on the other hand, um, the traditional radar today, you know, it doesn't really give you enough resolution. However. When we apply, you know, what Zendar is trying to do is trying to bring some of the technologies that we developed for radio astronomy into radar technology, mm -hmm. and thereby giving able to give you lidar-like resolution at the mm -hmm. cost of a radar. Great. Radar, as you know, is a very mature industry, mm -hmm. so we can actually bring down the cost quite a bit. That's that's great. So that's an important factor. Can you tell us a bit more about the sensors and the software involved? Yeah. So what what Zendar is trying to do in 2017. The spectrum 77 to 81 megahertz gigahertz spectrum opened up for automotive, mm -hmm. and it's around the time, same time frame. If you look at compute costs, that also started coming down, and as well as the performance started going up as well, and that gives us a, it gives us the ability to do apply um, more signal processing techniques and bringing all the data together to a central processor and and doing our software processing there. Mm -hmm. So what we're building is imagine the radar head being very inexpensive front ends distributed around the car mm -hmm. and applying technologies like distributed radar architecture and synthetic aperture radar architecture to the data and doing the software based processing in the central process. Okay. So you can imagine this more like a software defined radar where you move the complexity of the radar from the hardware to software. Super. And you are, we're here obviously focusing on automotive, but I understand there are other uh, good applications for the Zendar technology Yeah, it well. is It is very interesting because, um, you know, originally our concept was to develop this for automotive, and then we started talking to some of the agricultural companies. Mm -hmm. And um, it's interesting because we believe the agriculture market is going to develop faster than the automotive. You know, primarily, when you think about it, there is tremendous economic benefit that comes from automation in the agricultural space. Mm -hmm. Secondly, there is a big sh uh, labor shortage going on. So these, you know, because of these factors, we believe agricultural robotics will actually, you know, accelerate in implementing robotics. Right? So what we're seeing is some of the technologies that we're developing for automotive is actually applicable to an autonomous tractor, for mm -hmm. that example. And in that space, the traditional sensors don't really work very well, uh, because you, have you seen a tractor tilling? it creates a lot of dust. Mm -hmm. And the cameras basically don't mm -hmm. really work very well. Um, as you can see in the video, the LIDARs get occluded by the dust as well. So the only sensor modality that I can see through the dust is radar. Mm -hmm. So you know, we see a lot of interesting application for the technology we're developing in the, in the agricultural space. It's very exciting. Great, it sounds exciting. Yeah. I've seen the, the sensors in action uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm excited to hear more from Zendar in the future. Right. Thanks for being here. It's yeah. been a pleasure to interview you. Same here. Thanks. All right. Cheers. Cheers.